Today we're going to talk about rheumatoid factor, a test often associated with rheumatoid arthritis, and to really talk about whether that is a true and fair association. So as a brief reminder, rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune inflammatory disease, meaning it causes joint pain, stiffness, and swelling, and if not well controlled, can cause permanent joint damage. While we still do not have a cure for rheumatoid arthritis, we have excellent treatment options to help prevent these things from happening. Rheumatoid arthritis most often is a clinical diagnosis, meaning the most important thing to do to make a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is to take a history, talk to a patient, and do a physical exam. And that's because all tests, regardless of which ones, can actually be normal and you can still have rheumatoid arthritis. Now, rheumatoid factor is an antibody. It doesn't have the word antibody in it, but it's actually an antibody. And it's an, an, there are antibodies against other parts of antibodies. And it's that kind of clustering, putting together, which is associated or can be associated with rheumatoid arthritis. We've used rheumatoid factor clinically when taking part with a history and physical exam for decades, and have been part of rheumatoid arthritis criteria for decades. And as I said, it can be used, can, as a marker for rheumatoid arthritis. But what's important to know, it's actually not that specific for rheumatoid arthritis. In other words, if you are positive for rheumatoid factor, you still may not have rheumatoid arthritis. So a positive rheumatoid factor test does not mean you have rheumatoid arthritis. There are many reasons you can have false positive. More often than not, the most common reason is that it's just a false positive which has no other clinical significance. Up to 10% of the regular population will test positive for rheumatoid factor and that increases as we get older. There are other conditions which can uh, be related with a positive rheumatoid factor, lupus, Sjogren's syndrome, many different infections, hepatitis B, C, herpes, Epstein-Barr, cancer can also be sometimes associated with rheumatoid factor. So it's not specific for rheumatoid arthritis, it's not specific for these other things, in, in, case, in this case actually even less so, less specific for these other things on this list as well. Now, rheumatoid factor is also not sensitive for rheumatoid arthritis, which means that if you test negative for a rheumatoid factor, this does not mean you can't have rheumatoid arthritis. So in other words, a positive test doesn't mean you have it, and a negative test doesn't mean you don't have it, meaning it's actually not that helpful of a test to make a diagnosis on its own. Now, just of note, we actually have a more modern test called an anti-CCP antibody. We have another video you can watch uh, specifically on anti-CCP antibodies. This one is more specific, still not perfect for rheumatoid arthritis, but it's no more sensitive, meaning a negative test, you can still have rheumatoid arthritis. Now, the other thing to know is rheumatoid factor can be positive in some people before a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is made, but in some folks, it'll actually only turn positive upwards of a year or two after di the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is made. If you're positive for rheumatoid factor, it may be important to monitor for symptoms if you don't have, because regardless of being positive or not, we would want to catch it. But there is no evidence to suggest if you're rheumatoid factor positive that we should treat early before you have symptoms to try to prevent that from happening. This is not something that we typically do. Where doing rheumatoid factor is still important, and this is probably the most important use for rheumatoid factor tests and why we still do it, is because if you're seropositive, meaning your rheumatoid factor tests positive, and you have rheumatoid arthritis, this is an indication to treat your rheumatoid arthritis more aggressively because if left untreated, it may end up being worse than someone who is seronegative. So rheumatoid factor can help predict how serious your rheumatoid arthritis is and then helps inform how we should treat it. Again though, 
Another bottom line to keep in mind, though, is a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis should never be made based on blood work results alone. For more on rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatoid factor, and anything else related to arthritis and rheumatology, please watch our other videos or visit us at albertarheumatology.com.